All right, my first live run after building a shed around my wood boiler. As you can see, there's quite a bit of smoke. <laughs> That's actually because I need to tighten this door up. I had to take that off to put the shed on and I didn't get that tight enough. But right now it's too hot and there's a fire, so I gotta wait till my next time to run that. Um, got the wood in, got it lit. It's been running for about a half an hour now. Uh, let's see how this is doing. Burning great. Perfect. I had to take those fire bricks away just so we could see it. I'm normally running that, you won't even be able to see it because it's basically surrounded in fire bricks. Boy, that's a nice burn. All right, so that's working good. Um, got the, you can't really see it all, but I got it all insulated. I had to pull this out because I had to turn my valves on. I've got my water hooked up. My uh, That's my thermostat for my controller. Basically turns this fan. Oh, I don't need this. So I'm just doing some testing with that there. Um, that's my fan. Uh, I got a solenoid on there. It basically opens that up, turns the fan on when the when the temperatures of the water is cool enough. Once it hits uh, the set temperature, it shuts all that down. Uh, we'll see if it stays and we'll ignite again afterwards, or, or if we'll have to relight it. Uh, the lighting of this was easy. I put one piece of paper in there, lit it, uh, just started right up. So no problem with that. Got all my plumbing hooked up. Sorry, this looks like a mess because I had to pull that insulation out to turn the valve on. Got my water hooked up all inside for my in-floor heating. Um, like I said, I've been running this for about a half an hour. Uh, obviously, it takes a while for the, the, the heat to get very hot in the fire, but in that half an hour my water temperature for about 300 and 300 or so gallons has gone from 49 to 65 so it's heated up a little bit not a ton I expect it to be heating up a lot more now that the fire's going it took probably about 15 20 minutes for that secondary burn to start um, so it's only been secondary burns only been going for uh, a little bit, maybe 15 minutes. And that's really when the heat, when it really started heating up. So it, most of the time it wasn't really doing much heating. Um, anyway, uh, that's my shed I built around there. Still need to do a little bit of work to finish up, but uh, I got it going. This was used, uh, it kind of looks like that's from the fire. Actually, most of that's from, uh, uh, this was used uh, tin that I got from a scrap yard. Basically, it has put some black stuff right there where it's leaking out, but I need to get that fixed. Anyway, all insulated, working good. Let's check the secondary burn one more time. Uh, yep, great. So, it looks like we finally got this working. Um, I'm gonna have to do another video. Uh, this, this was full of, uh, from my previous burn, I had a lot of charcoal in there stuff. I'll have to clean it out and I'll just show you exactly what I've done with inside of there. Uh, but that'll be for another video. Anyway, first burn so far going good. I'll update you on, on how it heats the water and how that works. Okay, I thought I'd show you in here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Get this right. I'll focus in there. Anyway, as you can see down there in the bottom there, that's that's getting really hot. That can't really tell, but right there that I'm looking at, that's the pipe that goes up basically the exhaust pipe that it goes up and then it mixes with the air and then it goes down in the bottom. Uh, so as you can see, down there in the bottom there, that's very hot. I mean, that's, that's, that's glowing orange. Uh, that's, that means we're around pretty close to 2,000 degrees, maybe a little less, definitely 1,500. Um, anyway, um, so that's it's nice and hot in there. So the secondary burn's been burning great. I'm gonna shut this, I don't wanna get that. Basically, it just, it pretty much just smolders inside of there. Inside of that primary burn, just kinda smolders in there and burns. Secondary burn, that's where we, that's where we get the nice hot burn. up to about 120 so I have it set I think to 175 that's where the it'll kick off um, got my in-floor heat pumping around so uh, it's doing good 
next time I'll put these fire bricks back up so that it uh, it'll even be more efficient. I just pulled those down. Actually, those two tipped over uh, when I pulled this front one off. And I stick them back up in there because uh, I'll do that next time. Uh, anyway, burning nice and hot. I don't know if you can see there, but that uh, fire brick is glowing orange. Uh, nice, good burn. Okay, it's actually raining right now, but I wanted to show uh, basically there's no smoke coming out of that chimney. And I'm going to show you the fire because it's kind of a little bit darker right now, and so you can see it really well. Uh, before it was kind of, you couldn't really see a lot of the blue color in it. Uh, with the rain and cloud cover, uh, you can see that a lot better. So I'm going to show you that real quick. It's, it's raining, so I, I'm going to do it real fast here. So there's the fire. Uh, it's been going for several hours. I did put some more wood in a little, about an hour ago. Um, as you can see, it's burning nice. Uh, and the water temperature is up to uh, about 175, so it'll be shutting off soon. Uh, so I wanted to get this before it shut off. <laughs> 